Uh, yes, yesterday when this occurred, it was 5 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. The businesses that were in the area, they were all closed. Surveillance video wasn't available to us. Uh, so now we're going out there and actually doing our follow-up, uh, reviewing the video and seeing if it leaves any clues. Hopefully we're looking for plates, faces. Uh, we're hoping to get like a better idea as to uh, the actual crime that occurred, um, get an idea as to like uh, what kind of actions the suspects took, the kind of cars that they were in, if any weapons were used. We have no indication that any weapons were. However, the, the victims, because they were traumatized by the incident, they may have not picked up on all the things that were going on. And there were different numbers about uh, suspects. Uh, can we narrow down exactly how many, male, female? Uh, we can't narrow it down in the sense of an exact number, but we can say it was five to six male African Americans, one female African American. And when I talked to you a second ago, you said something like this: it, it's not uh, unusual for for street vendors to be beaten up like this. Well, it's not unusual for robberies to take place uh, on the street, not necessarily of vendors, but robberies are actually a pretty frequent occurrence. And tell me how the other two were doing. We know one of them was hospitalized. That is uh, Pedro Daniel Reyes. Uh, he's uh, undergoing surgery, according to his relatives today. Uh, how were the other two? They also were victimized. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't appear that uh, they were uh, victimized to the same extent. Uh, the one that ended up in the hospital, he actually tried to flee, and as a result, when he fled, uh, the suspects ran after him and decided to... Um, I guess uh, hurt him more than the two people that just kind of stayed and complied. They were also struck, but not to the same degree. They complied. These people are brutal. You want them off the streets. How can people help really quickly? Uh, if anybody has any kind of information, then of course uh, we would uh, gladly welcome any tips that anybody has. Um, once we post some video, if uh, anybody recognizes who the suspects are, please contact Newton Station.